Welcome to UFOs and Extraterrestrials, Helping Earth Survive, Part 2 of 2. Today, we'll explore recent UFO sightings, the level of technology developed by extraterrestrials, and the purpose of their visits to planet Earth. In 2017, an interstellar object passing through the solar system was discovered by the physicist Dr. Work using the PanSTARRS telescope in Hawaii, and this was later named Oumuamua, which is Hawaiian for scout. The object was thought to be between 100 meters to 1,000 meters long, measuring 10 times longer than it was wide, with an average diameter of about 110 meters. Many astronomers believed it to be an interstellar comet, but its shape was unlike anything seen before. Professor Abraham Loeb of Harvard University believes that Oumuamua was a type of alien technological device and may have even been discarded trash from another civilization. Dr. Loeb's upcoming book titled Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth is based on Oumuamua, which he describes as a message in a bottle. Oumuamua's surface was similar to that of shiny metal and was unusually bright, being at least 10 times more reflective than typical solar system stony asteroids or comets. However, the quality that made Dr. Loeb believe it was an unnatural object was the way it moved, its peculiar trajectory in proximity to our planet. Oumuamua didn't follow the path an ordinary object should take and the speed it should travel as physicists calculate. Dr. Loeb concluded that, besides the sun's gravity, Oumuamua was clearly being pushed by some other force. No one really knows for sure why Oumuamua appeared, including Dr. Loeb. He speculates it could be space junk that once served as a kind of space navigation buoy used by a long-ago civilization. It would put us in perspective, Dr. Loeb says, if we are not alone, are we the smartest kids on the block? If there was a species that eliminated itself through war or changing the climate, we can get our act together and behave better. Instead, we are wasting a lot of resources on Earth fighting each other and other negative things that are a big waste. Now, that's a very noble and civilized perspective. Agreeing with Dr. Loeb, the Honorable Paul Hellier, former Minister of National Defense of Canada, believes that aliens have been visiting Earth for millennia, and many technological breakthroughs were derived from these extraterrestrials and their crashed vehicles. Our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai shares a similar view. I have told you long ago that our technology here on the planet are the leftovers from other <laughs> <laughs> celestial bodies, yeah, like, uh, you know, discarded garbage. I'm sorry if I offend anybody. Hmm. Uh, because... Because our technologies are far, far, far too inferior to the others' high-tech development. To us, you know, their techno is like miracles. To them, it just know how. You see, the reason we cannot match is because the humans are too busy with unimportant things and too busy killing each other and all on this planet that we are oblivious to the obvious, eh? to nature opportunities and no wonders. Maybe one day when peace reigns on this planet and our beings more purified by veg, we will have the calmness of mind and the clarity of intellect to discover more hidden secrets, to brighten our world and to serve ourselves better than now, the way God's children deserve. 
Are the planet that develop because they have peace, hmm? yes. and they have love, and they have appreciation for all that surrounds them, that God bestows upon them. Unlike on our planet, we destroy all the wonders on Earth. We destroy all the things that are supposed to be beneficial to us and we even destroy each other. So that's why we don't have time to catch up with the universal wiseness. Yeah, let's hope one day we will. Awakened viewers, we'll take a moment now to pray for world peace. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program, UFOs and Extraterrestrials, Helping Earth Survive, Part 2 of 2. As mentioned in our first episode, sightings of UFOs have increased significantly in the past year. At the end of 2020, Hawaiians spotted an unidentified flying object in the evening sky over Leeward, Oahu. Multiple witnesses reported seeing a large blue object appear in the sky and later fall into the ocean. Police officers who were on scene said they spotted a second white light as well and that both were going in the same direction. Investigators claimed they had no information about what had fallen into the water. The next day, there were no reports of missing aircraft, nor were the objects identified. Many believed they were UFOs. In April 2020, a live camera monitoring the active Popocatapetl volcano in central Mexico picked up the flight of a bright triangle-shaped UFO. Interestingly, this wasn't the first time that UFOs have been sighted near the same volcano. On June 29, 2016, at around midnight, the surveillance cameras placed around Popocatapetl to monitor its activities captured a group of bright orb-like flashing objects flying above the volcano. Scott Waring of the website UFO Sightings Daily states in a blog post, Here is a great example of a triangle UFO passing over the mouth of Popocatapetl, a volcano in Mexico. It has been long believed that this volcano holds an underground alien base five kilometers below its surface, an ancient civilization of aliens that have existed there for tens of thousands of years. Why are aliens visiting us more frequently these days? Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly answered our association members' questions on this subject during a conference entitled, Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe. Recently, our planet is in trouble, you see, in danger, in urgency. So they always come to try to give the blessing or to avert some disaster, whatever they can, you see. Yes. Be it comet or, or earthquake or typhoon, without their intervention, we would have been done for, okay? Yes, Master. And so some may be there in those different countries because maybe those countries needed to see them more, to believe oh. that they exist. Or they needed more help in those countries. Yes, okay? I understand. Or those countries, the people are more receptive, easy to accept their presence. And now they come more because they have been uh, spreading their information of their presence all over the place. So they dare to come a little bit more before they would not dare. Okay? Oh. Yes. So they come before a little bit here and there, here and there, to, to spread out their presence. <laughs> you understand? Information. Yes, and now they, they feel they could come more now, also because of the urgencies of our planet. Okay? Yes. Because now it's safer for them hmm? to let us see them. Also, now uh, we are more accepting. Oh, I see. Yeah, now they are present. Yes. Due to information 
facts, yes, about UFOs on the internet, in books, yes, and governments help to release many of the UFO facts, yes? Yes. So the people are more open now to their existence. So they feel more easy to come to help us, okay? Yes. In any way they can, yes? Okay. Yes. They love us, no end. They love us, no end. They wish that we also as developed and as knowledgeable about moral standards, like they are, yeah, try to help as many ways that they can. They help us much, much, much. We have to thank them also. Yes. With their technology, they help us to avert as many disasters as they can. Yeah? Even individually, they help to, to rescue many people oh. who didn't even know that they're rescued because they're unconditional. Uh, without their intervention, we, we would have gone. Yeah, the planet gone, people gone, all gone. Wow. They're trying to help us so that we can hang on in there so that we may wake up and help ourselves. You see, yes. they can't do everything. They can't. We have to help ourselves by our spiritual merit, by our moral power. Then we will survive and we will develop more and more. And then we will see them even in person. We will can visit them like I would visit you. That's very cool. Recently, further revelations about extraterrestrials were brought to light by Professor Haim Eshed, retired space pioneer and former head of Israel's space security programs for 30 years. Dr. Eshed claimed that not only do aliens exist, but they have also landed on Earth. He added that Israel and the U.S. have long been in contact with them and that there is a joint base underground on Mars where they collaborate with American astronauts. The Honorable Paul Hellier, former Minister of National Defense of Canada, shared about how aliens have been visiting us for some time now in an interview with Supreme Master Television in 2019. Most of the ones from our galaxy, I am told, uh, look very much like us. Consequently, they're the ones that could uh, be walking down the street and, uh, and you wouldn't know who they were. You'd walk right past them. You might even say good morning to them or something like that without knowing that they didn't come from anywhere in the world. Now, there have been others. Um, the tall whites, as, they be, as they're known, uh, have been working with the United States Air Force for a long time, and they've, they've been living in the uh, area in, uh, in Nevada. Several books have been written about them. They have been exchanging technology with the United States Air Force. And then, of course, uh, the Venusians made contact at least a couple of times, including uh, one early on, a, a valiant Thor, uh, who worked in the Pentagon for, we're told, four years, and uh, who uh, helped the, uh, the American forces, and who offered us, humankind, a real deal. He said, if you will give up your, your atomic weapons, we will give you all of the technology for you to have the good life in agriculture, in medicine, and all of these other things. In December 2020, former President His Excellency Donald Trump of the United States signed the $2.3 trillion coronavirus relief and government funding bill into law. The bill included a clause stipulating that U.S. intelligence agencies have 180 days from the date of enactment of the act to submit reports to the Congressional Intelligence and Armed Services Committees on unidentified aerial phenomena including observed airborne objects that have not been identified. We're all certainly looking forward to the U.S. government shedding more light on what they know about UFOs and extraterrestrials. It is obvious that our universe is too vast for us to be the only intelligent life form in existence. We hope then that not only will we discover new miracles of the universe, but also learn to live a more conscious and benevolent way of life. Curious viewers,
Thank you for your company today on our program, UFOs and Extraterrestrials, Helping Earth Survive.